I'm not sure who of you use these uh, Grimlock keepers. These ones are by Maxpedition, ITW, Nexus makes them. Probably some other manufacturers make them. I think the Maxpedition ones were the closest ones that I could find to USGI specs when I did the research. I probably have had these things for a decade now. I put one on just about every backpack. I got one on my Molly FLC. I got one on my plate carrier. One on my Molly patrol pack. I carry my EDC stuff on every day. I got one on on the four of them on my uh, uh, large uh, Molly uh, 10th Mountain ruck. Uh, so I can strap different things to it and a uh, hydration bladder outside. So, and it was handy little thing. Let me show you some examples where I have a mountain and uh, anything that has a loop, uh, whether it be a pair of gloves, uh, your uh, electronic headphones, uh, ear protection, uh, anything uh, can be mounted to these. They do have, I believe it is, an 80 pound breakaway uh, pole uh, strength thing there. So you don't want to do anything with climbing like an old fashioned carabiner. These do not take the place of a carabiner in some sense. You can use them to hang your car keys off, water routes. I hate things hanging off the outside of a pack, but I have them on there just in case. But let me show you my examples, what I do with them. On my 10th Mountain Ruck, have them on both sides, the top strap to run through. Like I said, so I can hang the hydration bladder right over the top lid. This 10th Mountain Ruck isn't... Uh, full as you can see I'm in my closet <laughs> accessing this but I did uh, sew on years ago a snow collar to the top of the uh, 10th mountain ruck did that to my sons as well my sons is an ACU but he's got a solid uh, all the drab uh, uh, snow collar so that's one other thing that's irrelevant of the Grimlocks but uh, a good thing to do to your uh, rifleman or 10 mountain ruck just dug out my large Molly Patrol Pack, focus camera, focus. This one I use as a survival kit in my car. Brought it in. You know, I just noticed I don't have any Grimlock keepers on here. I have two left. Only place for really pals webbing that's not occupied. I have the Molly sustainment pouches on the sides. This is up here, so maybe I'll add one here. But here, as an example, I keep a little mesh bag. Hanging off this carabiner. This is just a cheap uh, dollar store Walmart type carabiner, so don't expect it to hold any weight. But you know, walk along, find some wild edibles, some berries, whatever I don't consume. Maybe I catch a small fish or two, put them there, dang them off the outside of the pack. I don't want them inside the pack, get everything ruined. So, perfect example were the Grimlock keepers. Let me show you how you put a Grimlock keeper on. If the webbing is new and fresh and solid, it can be a pain in the arse. Take your thumb, depress that. That's going to open up. Run that up through there. I'm going to run the bottom part. I don't know if I can do this one-handed and show you with the camera. But basically, you're going to run that webbing through that slot. And then you're going to pinch that thing down and feed it up into the top of the slot. Let me put the camera down and do this. I can't do it one-handed. So there you go. You're going to push the webbing down. To it feels like there's a little pop and then you'll find that the second part the top part slides into place so there we go we got a grimlock keeper on my large molly patrol pack large is identified by the thinner wider straps have a fox 40 whistle on there and then we have our little catch bag ditty bag whatever you want to call it on the outside so let me fix this that I never took care of. I don't know why that's not looped over. There we go. Got that looped over. There you go. Nothing fancy. But let me show you one more thing that doesn't have the Pell's webbing that I could put a Grimlock Keeper on that I wish that did. Okay, here's my special operations equipment. Two-inch duty belt. Made out of that uh, scuba diving belt material. I don't know where John could put one on here, but it'd be kind of cool whether they make something that's Velcro or maybe right here make a little one inch Pels loop where you could feed a Grimlock through hang things off even though that would probably hang and hit you in the nuts but anyways just my uh, thought it'd be kinda cool or even over here somewhere down on the end 
I don't know where you could really do it, but anyways, it'd be kind of cool. Had a spot for a Grimlock Keeper. Thanks for viewing. Please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification for future videos. Thank you.